Welcome to MarketTamer.com. It is Friday, August 7th. You're looking at a chart of the NASDAQ intraday, and what we're seeing is a reversal from yesterday's sell signal. Remember, yesterday we talked about the fact that the five-day was pointing down, the price action was below the trend line, and right now the trend line is pointing back up. The price action is right above that. So we're seeing a reversal from yesterday's NASDAQ sell signal and we're paying very close attention to that. If that holds true to the end of the day, that will be an official cancel of the sell signal. Now, looking at some of the bellwether stocks, we look, for example, at Apple. We spoke yesterday about the fact that Apple was uh, slightly below its five-day moving average, but the five-day was not pointing down, so we did not have a sell signal officially generated. Today, we're seeing some slight movement to the upside, nothing of great conviction, and so, we're not seeing uh, excessive bullishness yet. The trend does remain bullish. If we look to RIM, uh, many of you will recall Mark has actually got a position on RIM. Uh, Bullpot, obviously trend remains up. Not much to talk about there. With respect to Google, we noted yesterday that the trend does remain bullish. Still above five-day moving averages. In fact, today we're looking at Google touch its upper Bollinger Band. So everything remains bullish. And the key thing to note here is the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones Industrial Average. If we look first at the Dow Jones Industrial Average, uh, we mentioned yesterday that we had pullbacks to the five-day, and so we noted that there were no sell signals given on either the Dow Jones Industrial Average or the S&P 500, and that in the past we've had a couple of down days, and yet we moved higher. Yesterday we were looking at a second down day. Today looks like we're moving higher. So this is actually a, a very dangerous time to be trading when the indexes start conflicting with each other. For example, yesterday we saw the NASDAQ give a sell signal, but we didn't see that in either the Dow Jones or the uh, S&P 500. If we take a look at the S&P 500 here, it's also rallying up 1.5% today. Uh, continuation of this uptrend, which is uh, very, very significant given that our goal was uh, 1,012 on the S&P 500. Now, Mark uh, was noting uh, another uh, noteworthy level, which was 1,007. That was actually hit yesterday, so that looked like a, a peak. It was almost uh, price perfect, perfect. And uh, if we look to one of the levels that Ron was identifying, it was around 1,014. So either way, we're all in the similar ballpark here within about uh, seven points of each other uh, in terms of analyzing where the S&P should hit. Today, it's right around 1,015 at its peak. It's right at 1,012, which was the level I noted um, oh, a couple of days ago, maybe three, four days ago in the last video. So we are right at a peak retracement level. Now the question is, can that level act as resistance? That was our anticipation and uh, remain so in spite of today's bullish action. But uh, we are keeping very close eye on this. It's, uh, as you well know, it's very unusual to see uh, a market rally in the order of uh, 12, 13% over the course of a month and have that rally sustained for any extended period. And as a result, since it's uh, very unlikely. It is not something we're anticipating. With that said, today's up movement does reach a resistance level, and if that does break, then old resistance becomes new support. That has not happened yet. We have to wait till the close of the day, and we will uh, also almost certainly have to wait until next week to see if that's the case. Bottom line, we're still very cautious. We're not uh, aggressively bullish in any way following today's move. Yes, it's a, a big up move in the markets. That does not mean we are aggressively bullish. In fact, we're very, very cautious at this point in time and uh, encourage you to speak with your financial advisors if you're considering any positions and certainly pay caution to the trend and the significant up movement that has already occurred. With that, we wish you uh, a wonderful weekend and we look forward to seeing you at markettamer.com.